what is going on guys it is your boy Sessa here bringing us a video here today bringing you guys a photoshop tutorial actually on very own cool we're probably gonna start a series about this i think it's really cool if we sort of do a series of like how to create an abstract or whatever we have or another client clean video i don't I have no idea um how to make a banner in like one minute technically technically okay the whole hopefully the video is still short i think the last one we did like two months ago was like 14 minutes we're going for like a 10 minute mark here hey um so i saw the title says uh how to make it in one minute but it's actually not one minute so yeah <laughs> no man just just deal with it um but yeah i think i think that's just the point of the series is gonna make it really just kind of like i guess challenge myself and how to create something that's really cool and also a very quick uh succession of course the video might be 10 minutes long but it's just me explaining it but also if you kind of you, you can definitely get down a minute promise that um so yeah this here is actually just using three different filters um and the combination of just really cool little fun little tricks and just kind of get these really cool feels to them um this video here right here so much on the video you can see down below as always guys and uh this video actually is going to have like three little alternates i guess three little versions of it so this is the first version of it which is most likely to be the one you have to of course start in order to get the other two versions so this looks really, really cool it's kind of like this really cool glitchy motion kind of um just abstract feel to it and i personally love it a lot um of course the color is going to be customizable and whatnot so you don't have to worry about it being purple and blue if you don't want it to be um with that being said this is another version right here <clears throat> so this is a little glitchy kind of version i was referring to and i think it just looks super super cool like i feel like the glitch that's in this sort of like um banner design itself doesn't look too messy in a way and i feel like a lot of times the glitch effects look kind of messy this right here kind of presents itself to look really clean in a way as well and this is a little uh last version here is using the twist or filter effect in uh, Photoshop here, not using Liquify actually, but it looks, it looks honestly pretty cool. But this version, uh, excuse me, this version, this uh, section right here, I did get kind of lazy on. I kind of just put these little uh, little light um, roar effects in. You can probably get a little more creative in the sense of putting like a pattern in there, changing the color around. I have no really idea how to execute that right now, but that wasn't the point of the video, but this is still a cool little alternate version. I'll at least show you guys how to do the little twist thing because it might come in handy as well to kind of rotate it like two different twists. I don't know, might look cool, but uh, yeah, I already did say the tw tune light thing, right? Um, so yeah, let's just go ahead and just jump right into this thing. The only thing you're gonna pretty much need is a uh, picture. So the picture that I am using in today's video is a smoke texture here. I believe the more kind of colors and depth you have, kind of have in the picture itself, the better it might uh, come out. But as well as just don't really kind of like you know get your hands on a, a smoke texture. It doesn't have to be a smoke texture whatsoever, honestly. Um, but I'll put this in the description for you guys. I just really typed in HD background because I just really needed something that just had like a lot of color and a lot of depth. So this is basically uh, what I got out of it. So. Let's go and jump right into this thing and uh, hopefully we get under 10 minutes as we're going for it. Also, I see I did get a haircut. Don't comment it. I know um, there's a fact, though, that I did. not It's probably going to be really weird looking at me without having curls, but give it like two weeks, bro. And I'm like, I'm going to be back up to the height. I promise. All right. So let's go. And, let's just get this thing going and uh, just please stop talking. Let's go. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> let's go get this thing going. So, first things first, like I said before, I'm going to be using this picture right here. So, let's go ahead and just drag this up here. So, in this picture here, I'm going to be basically just starting off with a very simple stuff. I actually have it stuff written down, so I don't mess around with the order. Um, the first thing is called to go to filter, right? Then we're going to go to pixelate, and we're going to go to crystallize. So, this version, uh, excuse me if I just back this out really quick. So, you can see what crystallize kind of does is kind of do like almost with the same thing as mosaic does. And if you guys know what mosaic, like the, the little pieces, basically just kind of like taking really cool um, polygon pieces and kind of like, you know, spreading the, the pixels of the colors, just kind of like wide and whatnot. So, Basically, you start off with something like this. It's a little bit too kind of like there's way too many in the detail here. I guess you get the better version if you guys use really, really bigger cells. So I'm gonna take the cell size here and just turn this all the way up to about like uh I think I had like I think I had 200 before. So I'm gonna put 200 on press OK. So the cell size looks pretty good, right? So the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna be using what is called sphere uh sphere eyes, right? So it's gonna be in filter and we're going in, I forgot where exactly it was, stylized, right? Nope, I'm gonna it's in distort. So it distort. And then fear eyes that's a, is that a word can that, can that be a word um so this kind of here the reason why i believe you can use any picture in a sense here because what i'm going to end up doing is when you guys put the amount all the way up to 100 on normal uh, normal mode just put it on press ok and you'll see it kind of does this really cool expanding kind of like in the middle only so i believe whatever picture you're using whatever kind of like action and, and whatever kind of colors that are going on inside the middle of the picture um it just kind of gets bloated in the middle anyway and kind of spreads around the actual banner size itself so i really don't feel like it isn't you know, that's why i believe you can use any pictures honestly so when you use that you get this really cool sort of like spherical like i said focus in the middle of the actual banner design so the next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna go in to where it says emboss i believe that is in stylized right yes yeah, stylized emboss now the reason for this is to get these really cool little uh sort of like crystallizing um colors by the way now if you guys were wondering like what, what made you think of this um this is just me how i explore in photoshop sometimes i create some cool things so that's just the honest truth um 
<sighs> with that being said my pixel height is at three and my mount is at 500 percent now if you guys mess around with the height as well you gotta get these really thick sort of lines you can mess around with it and see what you get on the end result however the pixel lines that i ended up using or the weight was three for myself and you get this really cool sort of uh, I, I personally originally kind of thought about it as almost like a uh, concrete texture. So that's kind of how I kind of em uh, emphasize that. I'm going to press OK. Now, the next thing is the whole entire part of how to get your own colors. So basically what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be going to my adjustment layers, going into gradient map, right? Now, under gradient map, you can either just click mask if you want to, but there's nothing under it anyway. So it doesn't really matter whatsoever. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, click on the actual gradient editor. Now, the gradient that I used was this gradient right here. <laughs> so of course I'm gonna be using this gradient here, but I'm gonna at least show you guys this color schemes So that way you guys can write it down yourselves now I believe this color is this here doesn't really matter and it really doesn't honestly So I'm gonna just delete that really quickly, but yeah So the left hand side here, you're gonna have this, you know, the pink can be of course be exchanged I can see right here, right? I can make it yellow that looks that looks really dope Ooh, okay, so I mean, you know, it's really cool So I want to I want to show you guys at least the hex code that way you guys can keep your circle around where my circle is Unless you want to just do it by yourself But if you guys want to take the same hex code as mine, the hex code is D90B94 Press OK Now the second one here is the little sort of middle section to get your mid-tones And that's going to be your background color, right? So for this one here is going to be 03000 um, 03, is it 0? Okay, 03000A right it's basically almost black but it has a really cool sort of purple t uh, hue to it now also i do have my midpoint closer toward the actual left hand side which uh or left hand side compared to these two points right here um simply because if i move them over you can see you lose a lot of the little details here so moving this towards the left will give you more detail as the color will be more dominant so i'm going to go here on the right hand side is a secondary color which the hex code is 4 f e 0 f 3 so once you have those colors and press ok Press OK again. Now, like I said before, if you want to switch the colors around, like I said, the left hand side is your uh, first color. Let me just show you guys really quick one more time. Um, the left hand side, oops, uh, there we go. Um, left hand side is your first color. On your right hand side is your secondary color, and your mid is your background, uh, basically your your background color, right? So with that done, now I'm gonna go ahead and just select both these um, simply by just holding Control. So I'm holding Control uh, when I click on one. Then I'm going to hold control and then click the gradient map. And with this, I'm going to right click and convert it into a smart object. That way, if I need to go back into it, all I can do is just double click on this paper here. And you can see that it uh, opens up your effect here and you can just change your color if you want to. Um, if the end result is not exactly what you want in color wise, right? But <clears throat> now the next part is this really simple fun part, which happens to be using the actual uh, blur, motion blur, just like so. Now the motion, uh, motion blur, excuse me, that I use, I believe is around 250, was it 250? No, it was a little less, because I want these shapes to not be too far apart, so I think the 200 that I did have was what I did use. So, 200 pixels, angles at zero, that way it's, of course, that horizontal line you want it to stretch in a, you know, stance that's, of course, going, you know, horizontal. Um, if, if the case comes, if you guys want to, I didn't, I didn't really like what I was getting, but uh, I was getting, like, a really cool, see, basically... Let me explain why I don't like what's going on in this version here if I kind of tilt it if you move it slowly You want to get a lot of these little streaks see these little streaks that are going on when you don't get these angles It looks really weird like this looks really nice this you see how these are popping out now That looks really nice actually so that 30 or whatever kind of works But once you get here you lose a lot of the really cool sort of like streaks that are going on So the reason why I use zeros because I got a, quite a lot of them as well, but also I really do like how that 30 angle did look, but I'm just gonna keep it how I had it before. But just for the record, you want you guys want to just have as many little streaks as possible. I'm gonna keep horizontal though, because I can also pull them out with a color correction. So I'm gonna show you guys that right now. Press OK. So once you found your motion blur, what you can then do is go to filter, uh, camera raw filter, right? Under camera raw filter, uh, first thing I'm gonna do is put up my clarity, just like so. Or you can start seeing that like that really pretty colors coming out. I'm gonna press this little Y down here. It can cycle between before and after on the left hand right hand side. So you have it on the left hand side before, on the right hand side after. You can so you can see how clean and crisp these little streaks are coming in now. You can just like this one right here for example, right? Very very dope. Clarity pretty much all the way up around 80% or 80 period, right? And then I'm gonna throw on my vibrance. So my vibrance is gonna go up a bit. My saturation is going to go up quite a little bit as well. I'm going to say around maybe 10 or so. You want to do it too much because you don't want to change around the colors too much. Also, you don't want to get really distorted colors. Now, my blacks, I'm going to probably throw this a little a little bit. I'm going to put it on like two or so. My whites here. So, you don't want to do your whites until you like see how you see how like really awkwardly grainy it's getting right now. You don't want to have it be like that. So, I'm going to keep it at zero. That's perfectly fine. Or put it a little bit up. We'll say like 13 or so. My shadows, 
put it on with these. I'll put them a little bit lower so we can get some more depth in there. Highlights, we'll put these a little bit higher so we can get those little streaks to get that really nice color in. And I believe <coughs> that this is pretty good. Now, if you want to change your color around, uh, colors around very slightly, you could of course use the hue and saturation adjustments here. So if you want to take your hue, take the blues, maybe you want to mess around the blue, make them a different color. It's not that blue. It might be this one right here. Or you can get a really different color. But I'm going to keep it as is because I personally like the colors that I chose. So I'm going to press OK now. And once I press OK, I have that really, really nice first start of it. It looks really cool. Personally, I think it's just super, super dope. Now, let me just show you with this stuff in it as well. Put it up there. Right, there's our band that we basically start off with, right? So it looks really cool. That can be your done. You're basically done. This can be your backing to whatever you want it to be. But now here comes the part where this is this is you could do that in a minute, obviously for sure. But we're gonna continue a little bit and make the video a little longer for the sake of actually showing you guys the other versions that I did. So the way I ended up doing those is I made a duplicate of this here. So this is the first. This that's this is the actual banner design itself, right? Um, oh, also I forgot this you're wondering why, why mine looks like this and this one looks like this because what I ended up doing was control T unfortunately I actually looked control T to free transform it I'm gonna basically zoom out quite a bit and I'm gonna take my right hand side here you see this little right hand thing you want to hold alt when you do it though that way you spread this quite a bit so when you're spreading this uh, basically horizontal and you have the motion blur be horizontal as well you're gonna get this really nice sort of longer streaks to it and it's gonna look something like this it looks pretty good I do like it. I'm gonna do a little less though this time. Let's do a little bit more like this. <laughs> nice. So that's how you basically get those really kind of like skinnier kind of like lines here. But you can see my angle, my mosaic might be a little bit different too. So you're gonna get different textures or different kind of random uh, randomizations if your uh, your mosaic is not the same. So maybe if you make your mosaic a little bit lower, um, it might look a little bit better. Um, but I'm fine with this honestly. This can just I'll continue with this. But what I ended up doing was for this first version here. Or the uh, how do you say this version right here right little glitchy version what I ended up doing <coughs> was I took this I'm just gonna make a duplicate of the number one I'm gonna make this number two on number two I'm gonna basically rasterize this layer so I'm gonna rasterize this just like so now I'm gonna take the patch tool which is located under J right this little patch right here um, right click on that I'm gonna simply just click and move over and when you get these really black really awkwardly black spots I'm just gonna basically do it over again you want to basically kind of do it so many times where you're just probably like sesso it looks really weird why does it look so weird i know it looks really weird but the little blemishes is, is basically what makes the effect look really cool um so i'm just gonna kind of keep doing it over and over and over again and i'm just gonna just kind of just gonna fast forward this for you guys so we don't have to like watch it <clears throat> okay so basically done with that so you can just do i did a like quite a lot of times right but you can go as many times as you want i personally didn't mind quite a bit um but i personally said it to myself as well that i don't really like how some of these little blemishes look so i ended up doing as well is all i did was on number two this is all the same exact thing i'm gonna take very big sort of strokes where i don't want it to be like looking too weird like right here looks kind of weird right here looks a little bit weird like very very big sort of um rectangles and the reason I, the way i'm making multiple by the way is i'm holding shift right you see this little plus button that uh, adds it um, so basically saying, hey, we're adding a marquee tool here, not just kind of getting over it or going over it again. So once you've done this, you want to simply just right click layer via copy, right? Once you copy the layer, you want to go to filter, uh, blur, motion blur, and want to just motion blur a little bit so you can see, look how cool that looks right here. So you can see it kind of like almost blends it in a little bit more and kind of makes it look more clean. Now you can go around over this quite a bit amount of times and just make it look really, really cool. I personally love how this looks. Um, but yeah, that's how I kind of like fix these little uh, areas around here. Now, if you really want to, you can make even bigger sort of strokes and make the entire thing look like this. It's almost like doing the, the old sort of old school sort of kind of like glitch effect where you kind of did this, right? Um, where you kind of said, hey, we're gonna copy this and then move it over a few pixels. Like that's like, that's the old school sort of like little glitch effect. You can't really tell because a lot of colors going on, but that's basically the, the next version of it for this uh, effect right here. But last but not least, there's another version. I wanna just make another duplicate of this. I'm just calling it number three so we don't get confused, right? I'm gonna rasterize this layer here. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to filter. I believe it was in distort and it was called twirl it was called, nice. So I'm gonna back this up a little bit more. Oh, what the heck? That looks super weird. It looks kind of cool though if i had more mosaic like look how cool that looks what the heck that's super cool i don't think it was twist though okay so there's all that you could do <laughs> what the hell um uh where is it at i believe it's a distort and i believe it was called was it called twirl I, it might have been called twirl i'm gonna kind of do it there's no way it was twirl one second 
okay so it definitely actually is twirl i realized what my mistake was um so it is actually tw uh, swirl sorry so or twirl what is it called i, I forgot again uh twirl is that not in the, is, maybe i maybe i was just weird um so yeah it's actually twirl right that's just a weird i feel like i want to say swirl that's the problem um so it is twirl right when i click on it and the angle that i actually ended up using was around 440 so uh negative 440 excuse me because i wanted to actually spin in a counterclockwise position um so you can see it's actually spinning as you can see kind of clockwise now what i was confused about is because the focal point right here was actually you know so semi close to the middle but what i ended up doing is like literally just took my move tool and kind of moved it until i found like a really cool spot which i believe like like right that line right here is so pretty right so this line actually looks really really nice so the end result what happens to be is you take your pen tool and you say hey i want to find like a really cool line like personally this line right here that i'm looking at this line right here looks super super cool and i want to follow that line there so what i'm gonna just do is take my pen tool i'm gonna go right kind of over that line and this is how you guys can just kind of create your own little sec uh how do you call it like separated um little shapes right right when you go around it so i'm gonna make a new layer i'll make this like a cool uh fill path i'll just make it black for now right just like so so that way you kind of get this really cool swirl kind of an in, in almost intensifying feel that the, the swirl is happening um but if you guys want to find a little bit more you can probably do a little more swirling going on but that's basically how i ended up doing it i just kind of forgot for a second because i just you know sometimes i just forget things um but yeah that's basically all i did but what i was referring to before was i, I would feel like using like a pattern might be pretty cool um this video is totally not gonna i'm just like in the back of my head i'm just like is this video gonna be longer than 10 minutes yes the answer is absolutely just you might as well just let it go um overlay like a cool little pattern like something like that right and then you can probably go in and use like a cool um like a really harsh angle and kind of have this be something you glow in this is not part of the tour i'm just kind of like figuring out for you guys as well because i have no idea what i would personally do with this little section here besides like making another duplicate of this and like doing another like kind of turning it around might be pretty cool um but yeah just taking like a blue right here and then just doing like something like that and then using linear dodge add might be kind of cool you know what i mean kind of messing around with that I don't know i personally just think that this is like really cool to kind of at least just understand because like i said if you do want to you can actually just even cut this shape out right here out of this shape right here right and if you want to then i'm going to take this really quickly and just layer via cut this out so you make sure it's only around the, the banner size right and if you want to you press ctrl j to make a duplicate ctrl t and then maybe like rotate it like this right and then keep rotating it almost like you're layering it like a cool little uh how do you say um like a like another weaving style like that right there looks way way too cool i'm gonna put another one on the bottom so it's like you can see through it I like that that might be super super sick so this is what i kind of mean like you get some really cool effects it kind of bites off that at least this style here of the cool effect that i did previously but i'm gonna like let this video go as is and hopefully you guys understand because i don't want to make it too long and whatnot it's supposed to be a fun tour on how to do really quick um little effects and stuff like that but Hopefully you guys understand it, and hopefully you guys got it. I think it's really, really cool. Personally, I think I already know a lot of you guys are going to kill it. I, a lot of the, all the stuff that I did previously, you guys freaking loved it. So, hopefully you guys, you guys can have fun with this one near here as well. With that being said, I'm done with today's video. So, of course, do not forget to like on the video because it's sticking down below, which will mostly be the PSD of the video that you guys see here right today. So, uh, yeah, um, just straight up again. Once again, thank you guys so very much for the just amount of ridiculous feedback. I have no idea how to say it besides just, like, ridiculous feedback um a feedback and support excuse me and i just really really appreciate you guys so very much uh so very much excuse me so this should be the last month that i'm actually personally home so at month of february and then the march this is when i actually start transitioning into my move to la and stuff like that um so yeah i just i'm just super thankful i just want to let you guys know thank you very much and i'll talk to you guys later so hq out so i'm gonna keep smiling stay positive and stay freaking productive guys later much love